dude. It was a good fight. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna keep him anyway, right? Yeah. If he's 15 inches. Yeah. Oh yeah, dude. No, are you kidding me? Welcome to another Atlas Outdoors episode. Today we are at the Wachusett Reservoir out here trying to catch some lake trout or possibly an Atlantic salmon. Today we're going to be fishing with shiners. Uh, we got two rods per person. I got my buddy Mason over here. Yo! He's going to help me out make some cool content for this channel. It's going to be me, my friends, and just what we do outside. Catching some fish, making some memories. Yeah. Meanwhile. I may or may not have burnt the bacon. So, that's why you always got to pay attention when making the bacon. Or else you can mess it up. And then no one likes you. All right guys, so let me tell you about the rig we're using. So we are using a three-way swivel, like that. I don't know if uh, that's zoomed in, you guys can see that. Three-way swivel right here. Got a, basically like a six inch line with the hook and the shiner coming off of that. Then on the bottom of that, you have a two foot run with a three quarter ounce lead weight. There goes the shiner. So basically that two foot leader is to keep the shiner out of the weeds and visually in the water column so that the Lakers can actually go after them. Because if the shiner's in the weed, a Laker's not gonna go in there and find the shiner. So that two foot leader just keeps them up there, uh, up from the bottom. That's a rig that we're using and you guys can try that on your trip to go for Lakers. Maybe it might work for you. Maybe you might try something else. So this is another good bait that you guys could use if you guys want to go fish for Lakers. Silver blue Castmaster. I was trying to find a three quarter ounce. More weight the farther you can launch it out. This was going to be backed up if uh, all else failed. Yes! Laker? Yeah, that's a Laker. Dude! Yes, bro! Oh, here, here, let me get my other camera. Here, yep. here, here. Mason's first. Um, Lake, Lake trout. Lake trout, dude. Successful yeah. trip, finally, dude. Dude, I'm Let's shaking go. right now. I can't believe this. Okay. We're gonna keep this one. Uh, we're gonna do a catch, clean, and cook with it, so. Uh, congrats, Mason. Thank you, Ryan. Awesome to finally get one. I'm excited, dude. I, I, I haven't even caught one yet, dude, so. All right, now I gotta catch one. Let's <laughs> see if we can get, let's see if I can get one. How's it feel, Mason? Dude, it was a good fight. I did not expect I was actually gonna get something on my first try. It's been a long morning. We got here, we left the house at like 4.30, dark. It was cold. I was just trying to get out here. Wasn't trying to record just yet. I could just say that we got lazy, but we got a couple of rods out. All right, look at that. That's a nice Laker, dude. It's gonna be good eatings, bro. Tell them how you caught them. Right now, first, let me tell you about my rig. I have a Daiwa BG5000. Yeah, that's sick. The Akuma Rockaway Surf Rod, 11 who, foot. Who told you about that one? Oh, that was all you, bro. Atlas Outdoors, you know it. I was actually reeling in to check my shiner, and I felt the pull, and yeah, I had this guy on there. Yeah, so he was just, he was on the retrieve. He was on the retrieve, and then as he was pulling it in, bam, bro. Bam. Nice lake. We've been out here on probably three different occasions. We were out here last weekend, didn't catch anything. We're out here today, and uh, so far we got one on the board. So let's see if we can get another. He's about to crack another energy drink. Hard tacks for days, no no regrets. I'm gonna be honest, I already had like two, uh, two coffees, two of these. You know we cooking it up on Atlas Outdoors, man. We got that bacon, we got a couple eggs. Yeah, we made some coffee here. Catching a laker, hopefully other fish, and an appetite. Looks like there's fish over there. Did you know, once upon a time, right. we seen the salmon.
so we at least have this fish so if we leave empty hand if i leave empty handed mason's not mason's coming back home with this guy then it's okay you know i had fun today we had a nice breakfast out on this little peninsula at the chew fish everywhere i wish we were more prepared in the beginning because maybe we might have had a shot with those fish you never know you never know what may or may not happen so uh this was the only fish that we caught it was a good uh, couple hours, like six hours total. The bite was on around, like as soon as we got here, they were surfacing like 10, at least like 10 feet close to us. If you get here early in the morning, that's gonna be the best shot at catching fish. I had fun, it was cool dude, like I was happy to finally see you catch a laker. We're gonna head back to the house, we're gonna clean this guy up, uh, we're gonna show you the process of playing. I'm gonna cook mine up. Mason's gonna bring his home. We're not sure what he's gonna do. He might he might show us his process of cooking it. He may not, so who knows? You may see it. You you might see it. Yeah, let's head back to the house and clean this guy up and uh, we'll see you there. Thank you. show you guys how to do this basically what you want to do Cut off the fins, right? uh, no you can actually keep this part and um, it's called the collar piece you can actually cook it down and make it into a soup so what you want to do is just come behind here cut through that leave a little bit for the collar you want to come down the spine here so this is the center line you want to stay on that side right there Make a score. Just go down that spine. Mess this piece up, but that's fine because this is our first Laker. But that's one play right there. Now, hopefully, we can get this side to be a little bit better. We want to go right here, cut off that collar. Now what we can do is we can take off this head. We can use that for something. Nothing goes to waste here. Cut through those ribs. This one's more work though. We could probably make a broth out of that one. That's... And this, we are going to Take carve this out. And that is a butchered lake trout filet. So two good lake trout filets. Now Mason's gonna head home and we're gonna cook one of these right, up. Get it, head home. <laughs> head home. <laughs> We're gonna see you in the kitchen. So it is three days after the fact Mason caught that fish. We're gonna be cooking that lake trout today, so let's get started on that. All right, we're gonna pan fry it, so we're gonna get a pan started, get that on some heat with some olive oil, get that nice and hot. Then we're gonna be making some rice peel off along with it, and I think I have some broccoli, so you know, you gotta eat healthy, you gotta get some greens in there, so we're gonna cook up some broccoli along with that. So I've never made lake trout before. I have no idea what I'm doing. So we're just gonna wing it with some spices, whatever feels good. I've never tasted the meat, so I don't know how it tastes. People say it's people say it's a gamier type of trout. It's not like rainbow trout, which is more of like a sweeter kind of trout, but you know, this is only one way to find out. Just cook it and figure it out, you know? Let's get the fish all seasoned up and uh, ready to go. 
toasted sesame oil. I'm gonna get some of that on there, get it on there. I didn't take the pin bones out. Some people like to take the pin bones out. I mean, I do prefer it, but I don't wanna take out the meat. Like, I've never had lake trout before, so if it is good, I could work around the pin bones. I am really not too afraid of getting into some pin bones. And we got some Himalaya pink sea salt. Both sides. Some good old black pepper. Let's get some of that on there. We're going a little out there with the spices and we're gonna do some Chinese style five spice. I'm gonna do a little of it, just a little. I do not want to ruin the flavor of the fish, so I just want like a little spritz of that on there. And so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing. I'm not gonna be adding too much. I do want to taste this fish, so I'm not gonna destroy the entire flavor of the fish. Just some little things to, you know, make it pop a little bit. Our oil is nice and hot, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start from the belly side first. We want to sear that that meat first. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be something. Watch this. Ready? There we go. We want to get all that meat on that oil. We're going to let that cook under this. All right, so now we're going to go and check this. Look how brown that is. That is what we are looking for. And now I'm going to put that makeshift lid back on so we don't get grease everywhere instead of grease by. I'm going to take this off the range, turned it down, that's hot, don't burn yourself. And I'm just gonna let that sit aside, continue cooking until it's all cooked all the way through. So right now it's off the heat. That pan contains enough heat to where it's gonna be continually cooking. So we're gonna let that set. All right, and then in one of my last videos, I found this wild garlic growing in a fishing spot. I found, I was trying to fish for pike, but we ended up not coming back home with the pike. What I'm gonna do is clean these up, and I'm probably gonna use the first third of this plant. I'm gonna cut off the roots. I'm not gonna eat those. Just cut off those roots like that. Get those out of here. Little chops. That's about all we're gonna use. And now what we're gonna do is toss that and let it cook with the trout. Um, vegetables always go in last when you're cooking stuff. Look at that. We'll just let that cook together. So I looked in the freezer, I guess I ate the whole bag of broccoli. I ate my greens, you know. We eat our greens out here. It's just fish, you know. What else do you need? It's just fish. But. Rice is almost done. Rice is still cooking. Fish is basically settling down with the uh, garlic. But I cannot wait to try this fish because I've had brook trout, I've had brown trout, and rainbow trout, but I have not had lake trout. So I'm pretty excited to try this. And I just hope it's surprisingly good because I've just heard the rumors. All fish have different flavors. So I'm just hoping it's something that I can work with in the future, so. All right, boys and girls, look at that. That is a plate of fish and rice. And you guys can see that wild garlic that I use, that I found, just growing in the wild. So we're gonna dig into this. Let's try it out. All right, let's dig in. I don't know what to expect, honestly. I really hope this is good. First time ever trying lake trout. That's what we're eating. First bite, here we go. That is so much better than what I expected. Let me try another bite. Wow. The trout that Mason caught was a 17 and a half inch trout. So I know the younger ones, they don't taste as bad as the bigger ones. At least that's what people say. So I'm just curious on what maybe a bigger one might taste like. Well, I'm gonna finish this meal. I rate this a 10 out of 10, a delicious fish. So thank you for watching another Atlas Outdoors episode. I had a great time fishing with Mason. If you guys like my videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss another episode. If you guys like this episode, I got a wide array of others just like it. You can go on my channel, check those out. Thanks again for watching. There's gonna be many more episodes coming out soon as the weather starts to warm up. So be aware of that, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.